I was recently browsing Kickstarter and came across an innovative looking travel mug thermos infuser combo that really caught my attention. I was lucky enough to be able to get my hands on one and have been using it for the last couple of weeks now. So without further ado, this is the Recharge by Viva Scandinavia. The main thing that caught my attention about the Recharge was its versatility. It can be used in a lot of different ways. Let's quickly run through them. You can brew coffee like any other infuser by adding in your grounds, filling with hot water to the top fill line, then straining once steeped. You can also brew iced coffee by adding hot water to the bottom fill line, adding ice to fill the infuser, and then shaking. Pretty standard so far. But then, you can change out the bottom filter and also brew tea, or iced tea, using the same device in the same ways. I've really been enjoying this bright and fruity Guatemalan roast from Mirror Coffee Roasters. And if you want to give it a try as well, you can use the discount code Lifestyle Lab for 20% off your order through their online store, which I'll leave a link to down below. No matter what you're brewing, this infuser also contains a brew stop feature, which stops the steeping process once the infusion chamber is completely pressed down and screwed into place. Like I said, the versatility of this thermos was what initially piqued my interest, and in practice, all of these brewing methods do work great. But what caught me off guard more than the versatility was the overall fit, finish, and ergonomics of the product. You guys know I'm a sucker for a well-built product. Let's start from the top. The mouthpiece is very contoured, and is comfortable in a way that I didn't really know I wanted in a travel mug. It really does feel different than anything I've ever used before. The lid is also designed in a clever way. A plastic latch covers the drinking hole, but the hole remains completely sealed and spill-proof until the latch clicks all the way back. Looking at the bottom of the lid gives a better view of how the mechanism works. I do have some reservations about long-term durability of the system, but so far in practice it's been really nice to use. The lid then screws into the infuser, which in turn screws into the stainless steel body. However, if you don't want to use the infuser, the lid can also screw directly into the body, giving you a larger overall capacity from the same unit. No matter what the configuration, the unit stayed completely leak-proof so far throughout my use. The T-filter was also a step up from other infusers. A laser-etched microfilter means that even the finest loose-leaf T's can be used. Finally, the color and feel of the stainless steel body also stood out to me. I like the fun, pastel color options the company has chosen, and the coating reminded me very much of the external coating that Yeti uses on their products. A laser engraved logo and non-slip rubber base round out this really well-designed mug. Of course, not everything with the recharge is perfect. Comparing to my current favorite travel mug, the Zoji Rushi, heat retention was nowhere near as good on the recharge, meaning that this really should be treated as a day mug and not a thermos. The brew stop feature did avoid oversteeping of the tea and coffee, but not significantly better than similar infusers from David's Tea. Not exactly a negative, but I didn't find it quite as revolutionary as advertised. But other than that, this is easily the best infuser I've used from both a versatility and build quality perspective, and I highly recommend checking it out if you currently use a product like this. If I had to describe each of these travel mugs in two words, I would give the Zoji Rushi pure performance, the Recharge versatility and ergonomics, and the Yeti would just be relaxed. As always, I'll leave all three of these products linked down in the description below, and also don't forget to use the code Lifestyle Lab with Mirror Coffee Roasters if you want 20% off some great coffee. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.